arrived, not to the big screen, but to the Xbox, PS2, and PC. Behold, The Thing. You play the role of a search and rescue leader who's investigating the events of the film. The game immediately immerses you by recreating the aftermath of the movie's climax, complete with the elements familiar to anyone who considers themselves a Thing fan. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. For better, and sometimes for worse, you won't be alone in your mission. You'll have to manage a team, each with their own specialties, that will be vital if you're going to navigate through the labyrinth of destruction left in the thing's wake. You'll have to supply your men with guns and ammo, not knowing if one of them could be the thing in your midst. But trust is the name of this game. You'll have to watch everyone carefully. At any time, any one of them could choose to reveal their hidden alien form. While not the first game to introduce squad-based elements, The Thing manages to incorporate its interface with minimal confusion. After a brief tutorial, you'll find this feature to be a benefit rather than a distraction. The interface, working with the haunting visuals, helps to capture the tone of the film perfectly. And when the heat really turns up, the game is actually able to deliver its own genuine thrills. And since this is the Arctic, don't think you can just run outside. The elements are another foe you'll have to deal with, so you'll only be able to survive in the open for so long. You'll eventually have to go back inside to face your fear head on. It would certainly have been easy to rush out a mediocre title, but the developers have clearly taken a cue from their source material to create a deeply involving survival horror classic. Fans of the cult movie will likely scream with fright and delight. Now, will we have to wait another 20 years for the next sequel? That would be scary.